Hello everyone, happy evening, a very good evening. I hope and I believe all of you are doing well. A quick nod whether the audio visual is good. Had some issue in connecting but I hope uh, it is resolved now. All right, uh, I hope the audio video is clear. So happy evening, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, YouTube live session where we are going to talk about uh, basically an overview of the CVS physiology, the entire cardiac cycle and that scary diagram, as I call it, uh, and that is uh, the Wiggles diagram. You do have questions in the recent INICT exam as well, uh, right, uh, on a Wiggles diagram. So we are going to talk about that. And uh, then we will, uh, you know, we will uh, integrate it with JVP, the pressure volume loop. Let's see how much of that we can do. Now, why are we doing CVS physiology today? Because as you know, in the daily targets, we had the CVS physiology and respiratory physiology that needs to be completed today, right? So that's why we are trying to do this at 8 p.m. We will have another YouTube live class on the Academy channel where we'll be doing spirometry from the respiratory physiology. Now, the plan for tomorrow is uh, basically Vigor's diagram, the basics is what we are learning today and we'll try and integrate it with medicine tomorrow, right? So, tomorrow basically because now you are reading this Vigor's diagram, so it will be fresh. So, it's best that you integrate it with medicine, that is uh, which valvular lesion, what will be the change in the Vigor's diagram, what will be the change in the pressure volume loop. So, basically it will be physiology medicine integrated with the valvular lesions in Vigor's diagram. So, that is uh, about uh, tomorrow's YouTube live at 5 p.m. And tomorrow in the special class, because I can see a lot of you talking about respiratory physiology graphs and the respiratory physiology calculations. So, I'll, I'll cover that in the tomorrow's special class, right? So, tomorrow we will have KBMD on respiratory physiology because each one of you are reading respiratory physiology today. So, it would be fresh tomorrow. So, Kalamara Uspe KBMD Yoga, okay? So, basically the plan for tomorrow also I've told you again the same that is 5 p.m. YouTube and 8 p.m. It's going to be the Unacademy special class that is the free class. Uh, 5 p.m. YouTube would be the Vigors diagram from medicine physiology perspective integrated. Uh, you will see those graphs in uh, first aid as well. That is why they are very, very important. Okay. And uh, our academy free class will be basically KBMD. That is decoding the concepts of uh, respiratory physiology graphs and calculations ka KBMD hoga. Okay. So, kal hamara plan rahega ye. Now, uh, starting with the today's class and for those who are not aware of the new timetable, you can follow that on the Telegram group. Uh, every day you have an academic post on Instagram as well. YouTube, we are having daily live sessions and this is my Unacademy profile where we can stay connected. All right. Now, coming to the Wiggles diagram, uh, the cardiac physiology. Tell me how many of you find the cardiac physiology difficult basically? Even before uh, we begin, I, I need to know that how many of you find it difficult. And I mean, the moment you see that diagram, be it the JVP, be it the pressure volume loop or be it the BAP of all diagrams, that is the Wiggles diagram, you see that and you are like, no, I'm going to skip this question. How many of you are like that? Okay, so Fatima, uh, Bharti, I see uh, quite a few students here. So I'll try my level best in the today's session to simplify this topic. Now see, once you understand the concepts of cardiac cycle, basically how the sequence of events is, uh, 
you know this will be very very easy and you would be like no i want a question on this in the exam so when when we come towards the end i want each one of you to reply back then whether your fear is now gone about the cardiac cycle and the vigors diagram right so let's have a quick uh, uh, you know let's have a look at this image so basically in this image if you see here so we have the right atrium we have the right ventricle right atrium receiving the blood from the body so you have the superior vena cava the inferior vena cava right and uh, so see basically uh, this is uh, the video that i have here for you so you have the blood going it will go from right atrium to uh, right ventricle and then to the pulmonary artery right so from the pulmonary artery the blood will basically go to the lungs okay the blood will go to the lungs now from the lungs in the lungs there is oxygenation happening so the deoxygenated blood becomes oxygenated it goes back to the left atrium right so the pulmonary veins they drain into the left atrium so from the left atrium then the blood slides into the left ventricle and then into the aorta okay then into the aorta okay so uh, just give me a minute to show you that image right so can all of you uh, see this now uh, look at this image if i ask you which is the posterior most chamber of the heart the posterior most chamber you will remember this once you see this image and the animation here if i rotate to this behind you can see this chamber here which is located at the back the posterior part of the heart that is the left atrium which is uh, basically receiving the blood right the left atrium receiving the blood from the pulmonary veins right so we have the four pulmonary veins so this is the posterior most chamber that we are seeing here and this is uh, basically the heart which is pumping and look at this image okay what i want you to realize from this image is uh, let's go to the next slide okay what is the next slide showing okay so look at this what are we seeing here what valve is this this is the mitral valve in between the left atrium and the left ventricle and we have here the tricuspid valve in between the right atrium and the right ventricle so what do we see here is uh, when these valves are open basically the blood going into the ventricle at that time the semi lunar valves that is this is the pulmonary valve and this is the aortic valve these are closed right these are closed so when the av valves are open you have the semi lunar valves which are closed so remember this basic that these valves cannot remain open together ki mitral valve or aortic valve sath mein open honge this is never possible i mean physiologically normally this is not possible so look at this another image basically here which is showing you that when this valve is open this valve is closed and look at the other image here where i have shown you that when the mitral valve is closed the aortic valve is open right so if you have this visual memory you will remember it very well so remember that in dono mein se ek hi darwaza can be open at a time okay so it's basically like a tank okay imagine like it's a tank that is there and there is an inflow and there is an outflow so if there is an inflow happening the outflow cannot happen at the same time if the inflow is happening then this outgoing has to stop okay to nahi to fir usme kuch bharega hi nahi sab kuch aage chale jayega so remember that um, these cannot be open at the same time one is open one is closed okay that is what is the first thing that i want you to remember so again see here when the mitral valve is closed the aortic valve is open so basically the aortic valve open the blood going from the ventricle into the aorta at that time the mitral valve is closed that's the reason what is that condition if the mitral valve is open what is that condition if the mitral valve is open during the ventricular ejection that is basically during the systole so what will happen if the mitral valve is open the blood will go back into the left atrium because this door is also open so basically there will be mitral regurgitation right so basically there will be mitral regurgitation which will happen and that's the reason if you integrate it with medicine what kind of murmur do we hear in mitral regurgitation 
when the ventricle is contracting pushing the blood ahead the blood is going back also so that is pan systolic it is during the systole right systole means the ventricular contraction diastole means the ventricular relaxation so mr is going to be pan systolic murmur okay it's going to be pan systolic murmur all right so this is a, a, a schematic diagram which i have made for you to help you understand the concept of cardiac cycle very very important so what am i trying to depict here is let's have a look at this diagram so this is the right atrium you have the right ventricle the left atrium and the left ventricle so basically in the right side blue color is the deoxygenated blood left atrium receives the oxygenated blood right it receives the oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins now these are the doses that i have shown here uh, if you are able to appreciate here so look at when these doses are closed that is the av valve right this is your av valve atrioventricular valve when these are closed these will be open or basically when one of these doors is open the semilunar valves are open the av valves will be closed it's not possible for both the valves to be open at the same time always remember that so when one valve is open if this valve is open this valve is going to be closed so this is the av valve the atrioventricular valve from the left ventricle it is the aorta from the right ventricle it's a pulmonary artery so these are the semilunar valves here if the semilunar valves are open the av valves will be closed okay so most important remember that tank wala example the inflow and the outflow cannot happen at the same time the tank here is basically your ventricle okay now look at this other example now what are we seeing in this image here when this valve is open that is when the av valve is open at that time the semilunar valve is closed okay the semilunar valve is closed so both cannot remain open at the same time so when this valve is open the ventricle is like a tank this door is open so basically the ventricle is receiving the blood so what phase of cardiac cycle is this is it the systole or is it the diastole when you see that the door the av valve is open the blood goes the tank is getting filled the ventricle is getting filled so what phase it is is it systole or is it diastole the phase when the ventricle gets filled that is called as diastole okay that is called as diastole all right so diastole or diastole whatever you want to call it so this is the diastole and when the blood is going out okay the blood is going out from the ventricle that is going to be systole okay that is going to be systole clear with everyone right now let's go to the next image now look at the next image here when this door is open the atrium pushing the blood emptying the blood into the ventricle finally in the last phase the atrium gives that final kick to the blood into the ventricle so basically the atrium is contracting so when the atrium is contracting basically it will be atrial systole whatever is contracting uska systole atrium contract okay pushing the blood into the ventricle and ventricle is relaxing to receive the blood so this is ventricle ka diastole okay this is ventricular diastole but it is atrial systole so i hope this point is also clear that atrial jab systole hoga that is basically the push pushing the blood into the ventricle the ventricle is relaxing it is ventricular diastole okay so atrial systole ventricular diastole now so the atrium is becoming small in size and the ventricle is large because of the filling now this is the point the next point what is happening the atrium has pumped the blood into the ventricle so the doors will close the av valve now closes right is it possible is this possible where you have all the valves which are closed all the doors are closed this tank that is the ventricle is not receiving anything is this possible normally is this possible yes or no all the valves 
valves are closed right all valves be it the av valve be it the semi lunar valve all of them are closed is this possible yes or no right this is possible so what phase is that called as that is basically called as isovolumetric phase okay that is basically called as isovolumetric phase so remember that it's possible in a tank ki there is no inflow there is no outflow that is possible that means a door is closed okay the tap do no ingoing outgoing band hai but it is not possible ki inflow and outflow both are open all open is not possible but all closed is possible right all closed is possible like i am not in a receptive state i don't want to receive anything that is possible but ye possible nahi hai ki you know if you are receiving something and you are letting it go also that is not possible so remember basically this is isovolumetric phase so be it systole or be it diastole the initial phase of systole and diastole is basically isovolumetric phase right so when you have systole starting you have systole you have diastole which of these occupies major part of the cardiac cycle see when i just say systole and diastole by convention we are talking about ventricular systole and ventricular diastole okay so uh, tell me uh, ventricular systole uh, ventricular diastole so this will the first part will be isovolumetric contraction okay when the diastole starts it is isovolumetric relaxation because diastole is relaxing ready to receive the blood and systole is pumping out it's by contraction right so systole will start with isovolumetric contraction diastole will start with isovolumetric relaxation normally the diastole is more than the systole the period of diastole is more than the systole so basically remember that uh, you know it's like uh, receiving should be always more than giving out it's in terms of you can remember in your real life example like about learning about listening listen more take more but talk less okay so give out less so remember that diastole that is receiving is more listen more but talk less you know so it said that that is why we are given two ears and one tongue taki aap suno zyada aur bolo kam so remember like uh, receiving is the diastole and giving out is the systole okay giving out is the systole so isovolumetric contraction isovolumetric relaxation okay next what will happen when the tank is full right now when the tank is full you can see the ventricle is full so next what will happen is the tank will now give the outflow right abhi bahut sara sun liya we have received a lot now we want to give out so now it will go into the respective vessels okay it will go into the respective vessels this door will open that is the pulmonary valve the aortic valve will open the blood will go into the pulmonary artery and the aorta so what phase of cardiac cycle is this is it systole or is it diastole basically this is systole giving out ejecting out the blood from the ventricle that is the systole so you can see that semi lunar valves are open the av valves are closed okay the av valves are closed is this clear with everyone right is this clear with everyone so far so what is diastole what is systole which valve will be open which valve will be closed clear right so systole is like giving out so that is the semi lunar valve will be open through which it goes out so during that time the av valves will be closed okay the av valves will be closed okay so this is a quick review of the cardiac cycle okay look at the quick review of the cardiac cycle so if you start with the ventricular systole the first one is isovolumetric contraction right pehle jab sab doors closed hai all the valves are closed no incoming no outgoing the volume the size remains the same nothing is coming in nothing is going out it remains the same size i the volumetric contraction then comes the ejection phase right then will come the ejection phase so after the ejection is over the systole is over then will come the diastole right the ventricular diastole so in the ventricular diastole again first is ventricular the isovolumetric relaxation isovolumetric 
then the ventricle will again re become receptive the av valves will open right final will be the atrial contraction the atrial systole so you can see here the atrial systole is basically the last part of ventricular diastole so when you have ventricular diastole right the first filling of the tank is because of the pressure difference fir akhri mein jo thoda bahut bachta hai it is by the kick given the last push given by the atrium to empty the atrium into the ventricle so basically remember that atrial systole is the last part of the ventricular diastole everybody is clear with this understanding the concept the when will the atrium contract basically it's giving the kick it's giving the push to the blood into the ventricle so that is the ventricular diastole it is in the early part or the last part of the diastole it is the last part of the diastole right it's the last part so if you understand whatever we have discussed so far right we are reinforcing few important points that we have learned first all the valves all the doors cannot re uh, remain open together but they can remain close together that is the isovolumetric phase if the av valve is open right your semilunar valves are closed what phase of the cardiac cycle it is it is the diastole the ventricular filling that is the diastole if the av valves are closed but the semilunar valves are open so the outgoing happening from the ventricle right so that is the systole okay that's the systole clear with everyone this is what we have given and this is what we have discussed so far now let's go this one let's try answer this question so assessment time please read the question and tell me what do you think will be answer to this yes so which of the following adjustments have probably occurred in the cardiac cycle what do you think is the answer 54 year old man complaints of palpitations and light headedness heart rate is more than 200 so basically there's tachycardia and there is hypotension so what adjustments will happen in the cardiac cycle let's see how many of you are getting this right so i can see a lost unicorn and dev ashish getting this right please remember this concept this is a very very frequently tested concept this we should know that when the heart rate is increased okay so basically when the heart rate is increased heart rate is basically the number of times the heart has to beat that has increased right so in that case if if the heart has to pump more right more often so basically the cardiac cycle duration will decrease right the cardiac cycle duration will decrease so in that case which is affected more it is the diastole always which is decreased more than the systole right remember the decrease in the diastolic time is more than the systolic time it is the receiving time which is decreased as compared to the outgoing time okay the receiving becomes less okay the receiving becomes less okay so the answer will be both have decreased the systolic time has decreased the diastolic time has decreased but the diastolic time has decreased more so to correlate this to give you an analogy imagine like the heart rate is the number of times you know how frequently the exams are coming let's say that bahut jaldi jaldi exam aa gayi iicit aa gayi november mein aa gayi uh, okay iicit aa gaya uske baad fatafat neet pg ka exam aa gaya and then again the iicit is coming soon so this is coming in january and let's say the iicit is preponed to march so what you have to give out okay so the whatever you have learned you have to give out in the exam the heart rate is increasing the exam frequency is increasing what will happen the number of classes basically that you will be attending the information that you will be giving yourself that will decrease 
राइट बट द आउटपुट विल नॉट बी डिक्रीज दैट मच क्योंकि एग्जाम तो आप हर कोई एग्जाम दे रहे हो आपको कुछ ना कुछ आउटपुट तो देना ही है बिकॉज द एग्जाम आर वेरी क्लोज यू माइट नॉट गेट दैट मच टाइम टू रिवाइज राइट एंड दैट इज वाई द आउटपुट माइट ऑल्सो डिक्रीज सो बेसिकली रिमेंबर दैट द डायस्टोल द रिसीविंग डिक्रीजेस मच मोर देन द आउटपुट द नंबर ऑफ क्लासेस दैट यू अटेंड right the uh, receiving is less as compared to the output okay the output will also decrease if the exams are very close okay so this is the analogy that you can remember that diastole the receiving decreases more as compared to the output okay always always remember that now let's try solving this question i'll come to this question later on pehle hum ye dekh lete hain aapka complicated wala diagram that is the vigors diagram right the one that we had to discuss now we have spoken about everything that is the cardiac cycle so what is the systole the atrial systole the ventricular systole diastole we have spoken about all of that now if i zoom this image for you basically like this just give me a minute Uh, live chat. Am I audible and visible? Is this uh, the live one only? All right. Yes. So if I zoom this image and I ask you that you can see the graphs here, basically, right? You can see the four graphs here. One is this dotted line open. Then you have this pink color graph. Then you have the again this dash wala line, and then you have this blue wala graph. Now the most important, if I ask you. Which of these is representing the? Or if I ask you the other way round. this pink color graph is representing the aortic pressure or the left ventricular pressure or the left atrial pressure or the left ventricular volume what is this pink color graph representing is it aortic is it left ventricular pressure left ventricular volume or is it the left atrial pressure this pink one what is this pink color graph representing okay so i see majority of you saying it is left ventricular pressure and few of you are saying it is left ventricular volume let's decode this uh, you know the graph based questions actually are very conceptual and if you get them you understand them well you will uh, you know score more on these questions so look at this okay look at this first one if you are given a diagram like this it already mentions that this is the pressure right on the left side it is given that this is the pressure on the left side okay and this is the volume on the left side so if you read the image very carefully the clue is already given there ki ye wala jo graph hai ye volume ka graph hai aur baki jo teen graph you are seeing upar those are the pressure wale graph okay those are the pressure wale graph so everybody who answered as left ventricular volume that is the first one to be ruled out okay now uh if now the examiner is cruel and crooked the next time and he removes the uh, okay he, he removes this part ki jahan pressure or volume likha hua hai so what are you seeing here okay theek so in this graph the uppermost one that you are seeing okay the graph the dash wala graph look at the pressure the pressure is always like the maximum is 120 the minimum is 80 so it's just deviating between 120 and 80 the pressure is not going down significantly so it's always on the higher side so that is the aorta aorta will have the pressures like this this the other one that you are seeing this ka pressure is reaching till the aortic pressure but the minimum pressure is going significantly down like it's complete relaxation pressure almost zero ke paas ja raha hai it is completely relaxing so this is the ventricle so i hope you are understanding this that 
Air the pressure will always remain high. It will be the uppermost graph. It is not going significantly down. The other graph which is touching to the aorta pressure because the left ventricle has to pump into the aorta. So the pressure should be more. It should reach that level. So that's the left ventricle. The minimum pressure is reaching significantly less. And the other one, the lower one dashed line that you have where the pressures are 20 ke niche. That's the atrial pressure, right? That is the atrial pressure. Atrium is a low pressure chamber. Ventricle is a high pressure chamber. So this is what we are seeing here basically that atrium has low pressure. Ventricle has high pressures, right? But the minimum pressure can go as low as zero. Aorta will always have the high pressure, right? It will, the graph will be always up. Here with everyone, so how will you identify this is aortic pressure? The pink one is ventricular pressure and the lowermost one is the atrial pressure. Atria ka sabse kam, ventricle ka deviates a lot and then we have the aorta. Now why this graph, the blue color graph is the ventricular volume, an important question. Which of the following graphs represents ventricular volumes or this blue color graph represents what? Can someone tell me why that is the ventricular volume? How do you identify what's the concept there? Why, uh, why it is the ventricular volume? See, identify the cardiac cycle ke phases. Or kuch nahi dekhna, sir, isme main ye dekhna. When you are seeing this graph, okay, when you are seeing this graph, ek hamara ye wala phase hai, cardiac cycle ka, right, you have this, the S1 and the S2. Or a kamara dusra hai between S2 and S1. Right? This is the other part of the cardiac cycle. Which one? Absolutely right, a lost unicorn. Which of these represents the diastole? We already said that diastole ka time is more than the systole. Okay, diastole ka time is more than the systole. So this is the diastole and this is the systole. What happens during the systole? Remember that example, Amara? Systole mein ye wala jo darwaza hai, the semilunar valve, it opens. So basically the ventricle contracts, the blood goes into the aorta. So what's happening to the volume of the left ventricle in the systole? The volume is decreasing because basically the outflow is happening. So you can see that the volume is going from 130 to 50. The volume is decreasing. So the only thing that decreases during the systole that you are seeing here is the ventricular volume. It's not the ventricular pressure. The pressure increases because it's contracting but the volume is going down. So that is why this graph here is the ventricular volume, okay, which decreases, the volume decreases during systole and then it increases during the diastole, okay. It increases during the diastole. Clear with everyone? Right, so these are the graphs that you will identify. Now coming to the next important, uh, next important point here. Everybody give me a quick thumbs up before we go ahead. If you have understood so far about the graphs, aortic pressure will be maximum, atrial pressure will be minimum, ventricular pressure will be deviating a lot, ventricular volume will decrease in systole, right? Ventricular volume will decrease in systole, right? Let's go to the next one now. The next important point, very, very important in Vigor's diagram. Give me a quick thumbs up if everybody is clear with this. Okay, amazing. So now, uh, look at these graphs. Okay, a quick revision. What graph is this here? What line is uh, this representing? The uppermost one, which is always remaining high. That is the aortic pressure. Okay, that is the aortic pressure. The one which is reaching up to the aorta, right, touching the aortic pressure, then coming down significantly, that will be the left ventricular pressure. And the one which is the minimum, that is the left atrial pressure, right, that's the left atrial pressure. So these are the three graphs that we have identified. Now, uh, very, very important here to identify is what valvular event is occurring at each of these points? 
ओके सो वेन यू आर सींग द इंटरसेक्टिंग ऑफ द लाइन राइट द एट्रियल वाला वेंट्रिकुलर वाला इंटरसेक्टिंग एटा लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इंटरसेक्टिंग देन अगेन यू कैन सी द इंटरसेक्शन ह्योर एंड इंटरसेक्शन ह्योर वट आर दिस लाइन एब्सोल्युटली राइट भारती सो रिमेम्बर द नेमोनिक ह्योर इज वेरी वेरी इजी टू रिमेम्बर रिमेम्बर द नेमोनिक इज को को मैम ओके वट इज द नेमोनिक दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ह्योर Remember, it's Coco Mam. What does Coco Mam stand for? C stands in the mnemonic. C stands for closure. O stands for opening. C stands for closing. O stands for opening. Okay. M stands for mitral. A stands for aortic. A stands for aortic. M is mitral. So remember, easy to remember. The mnemonic is Coco Mam. Okay. The mnemonic is Coco Mam. these are the valvular events that occur so that is if you start with closure of mitral valve okay that is the closing of the mitral valve that is cm the next to happen is opening of the aortic valve okay the next to happen is closure of the aortic valve and the last is opening of the mitral valve so if you see it is c o c o alternating closing opening closing opening then you have mam that is m a a m okay remember it's not m a m a it is m a a m right clear with everyone is this clear with everyone palak i would try my best but of course uh, i will not give a commitment on that because patho is not my speciality but i'll try my best to help you in the best possible way okay so remember please write this down this is very very important mnemonic to remember coco mam okay that is coco mam if you remember like starting with closure of mitral next is opening of aortic closure of aortic and opening of mitral now the other trick to remember here is you know how will you identify ki ye kaun sa valvular event hai so in this aortic graph when this aorta pressure is rising the aorta pressure is decreasing then you see here a notch sort of thing okay a notch sort of thing which is happening ek bump aa raha hai in the aortic graph so this is the aortic graph and suddenly there is a notch and then it goes down so this is basically called as dicrotic notch okay this is called as dicrotic notch again a important question remember it is due to av closure okay it is due to the av closure theek hai clear with everyone nahi see uh, uh, anandita what is happening is when the mitral valve is closing right remember that door wala example the mitral valve close ho gaya so what is starting during that time as soon as the mitral valve is closing after that what is starting it is the ventricular systole or the ventricular diastole what phase of cardiac cycle starts if the door is closed now right the incoming wala door is closed so now the outgoing will happen outgoing happens during systole right so it is the starting of the systole the closure of the mitral valve will be then will be the starting of the systole and you can see the ventricular pressure is now increasing right you can see this pressure going up and when the pressure goes above the aorta abhi usne resistance overcome kar liya fir aapka jo yahan pe hoga aapka aorta mein bhi fir pressure badhna shuru ho jayega because then the ejection is happening okay the ejection is happening during that time theek hai clear with everyone so this is coco ma very very important remember this mnemonic will help you a lot everywhere Okay, even in the pressure volume loop. So this is the systole and this is the diastole. So with the AV closure, that means the door is closed now. The outgoing door is closed. So the outgoing is closed. That basically means the systole is over, right? The systole is over. So now we'll start the diastole. And in the diastole, you can see that the mitral valve is open. Hello. Now the next point that I want you to understand is, look at this one. Okay, so systole is basically between S one and S two, and diastole is between S two and S one. So another important trick to remember here is diastole basically starts with 
Diastole starts with which uh, heart sound? Remember, di means two. So, remember it is S2. Okay, remember it is S2 where the diastole is starting. Please write down all these easy tricks because you might tend to forget with time. But the more you revise them, the more they will become easy. Right, so diastole is basically S2. And S2 says start over. What is S2 due to? Closure of mitral valve, opening of mitral valve, closure of uh, semilunar valve, opening of semilunar valve. What is second heart sound due to? What is second heart sound due to? Absolutely right, Devashish. It is closure of semilunar. Now, when will you hear a sound? Okay, when we close the door, you know, someone just banging the door, shutting the door or opening the door. When do we hear the noise? Real life example, when someone is closing the door, right? So, basically remember the S1 and S2 are due to closure of the valves. That is the first point to be remembered. Second, we are talking about second heart sound. So, remember it is the closure of the second is semi-lunar valve. Okay, second is the semi-lunar valve. So remember the S1 and S2 is due to closure, right? So both are due to closure of the valves. None of them is due to opening. S1, one is the first alphabet. A, uh, one number, A is the first alphabet. It is the atrioventricular valve. And this is second valve is the semilunar valve. Okay, it is the closure of the semilunar valve, the aortic and the pulmonary valve. Right. So, when that outgoing now closes, right, that diagram that we saw, the schematic diagram basically, where is that diagram? Okay. Let us uh, see that. So, when this door is closing, the outgoing wala door is basically closing. So, what happens uh, uh, if that door is now closing, the outgoing is blocked now? Now, the next to come will be incoming. So, incoming is the diastole. So, remember that S2 is basically the starting of the diastole. Okay, that is the starting of the diastole is the S2. So, what will you see after that? The first phase, isovolumetric relaxation. Then you will have the blood coming into the ventricle. That is the rapid inflow. The middle part is diastasis. And then you have the atrial systole which is basically the last part of the ventricular diastole. Here with everyone, we said the last part of the incoming would be the atrial kick, the contraction. So that is the last part of the ventricular diastole, that is the atrial systole. Okay, that's the atrial systole. Okay? So that is the correlation with the heart sounds. We saw about S1 and S2 and S2 and S1. So basically, if I have to write like this, so, remember between S1 and S2 is the systole and S2 and S1 is the diastole. Okay, S2 and S1 is the diastole. Alright, tell me about S3 and S4, the third and the fourth heart sound. Both of them occur in systole, both in diastole, one in systole, one in diastole. How about third and fourth heart sound? I think a lot of uh, CVS physiologic concepts is what we are learning here. So, S1 is the beginning of systole, S2 is the beginning of diastole. What is S3 and what is S4? Both systole, both diastole, S3 systole, S4 diastole, S3 diastole, S4 systole. What about S3 and S4? S3 diastole. So, please remember that S3 and S4, both of them, they occur in the diastole. Okay, both of them, they occur in the diastole. Right, S3, right. So, you have S1, you have S2. Uske baad aega S3, uske baad aega S4, aur fir wapas aega S1. So, basically between S2 and S1, that is in the diastole, is where we will have S3 and S4. Easy to remember, right? Yeah, I, I always remember this right from my MBBS days. I remember like this. So, S3 will have first rapid filling phase of the uh, ventricular filling. And the S4 will have the last rapid filling phase. So, just remember first rapid filling is S3. 
last rapid filling is S4. So basically both of them are in the diastole. The last rapid filling is basically due to atrial contraction, right? It is basically due to atrial contraction, the last filling, the last push, right? So that is S4. Now S3, can it be physiological? Yes, it can be physiological as well. The first rapid filling can be very turbulent if there are high pressures in the left atrium. So left atrium receiving a lot of blood, basically hyperdynamic circulations like in children, athletes, pregnant female, S3 can be normal. So this is important question that S3 can be normal in pregnancy, but S4 is not normal. S4, the last rapid filling phase is the sound heard when the atrium is contracting against a stiff ventricle. So like you have ventricular hypertrophy. If the ventricle is stiff, that last push, that gives the sound. Okay, that gives the sound. So uh, S3 will be basically early diastole, the first rapid filling phase. S4 will be the uh, late diastole. Okay, it will be in the late diastole because it's due to atrial contraction. Right, it's due to atrial contraction. So if I ask you that S4 will coincide with what wave in JVP? It can coincide with what wave in JVP? The atrial contraction, A for A, that is the A wave. Okay, that is the A wave. So A wave in JVP is due to atrial contraction. S4 is due to atrial contraction. So uh, these will coincide. Right, if I ask you about ECG, Okay. So, if I ask you about ECG, what wave in ECG will be related to the A wave of JVP or the S4? Yes, S4 is always pathological. What wave in ECG will be related? Absolutely right, it's the P wave. Right? Why P wave? Because P wave is due to atrial depolarization. So P wave will be before the A wave or P wave will be after the A wave. So remember, basically we have this, the electrical impulse pehle aata hai, right? The action potential electrical impulse comes first and then there is the contraction. Then there is the mechanical thing. So first will be the P wave and then will be the A wave. Okay, so P wave aayega, fir A wave aayega. Pehle electrical, fir mechanical. So if you look at this uh, diagram here, let me zoom this diagram for you. In the Vigors diagram, so look at this ECG, this is the P wave, the atrial depolarization, electrical coming first. Just after that, you are seeing this A wave, right? Just after that, you are seeing this A wave. So you have the P wave, then you have the A wave and somewhere here, you will have the S4 also, which is not depicted here. So that is the late diastole. So atrial systole is the late diastole. Here with everyone, right? Now, after the atrial uh, has contracted, the AV valve will, uh, uh, the AV valve will uh, now close, the mitral valve will close, right? So what valvular event will be happening here? Now that the systole, uh, you know, the diastole is ending here. So what valvular event is happening here? The outgoing has to start, so the incoming has to stop. So the AV valve, the mitral valve will close here. So what heart sound will you get here? What is this heart sound which is shown here? This is the S1 that marks the beginning of the systole, right? So S1 is the systole, S2 is the diastole. Clear with everyone, right? Now let's have a look at the next one. Now when the ventricle is contracting, Again, it has to get the impulse first. So you are seeing the QRN complex just beginning before this uh, systole is starting. It's the ventricular depolarization. The QRS or ventricular systole start right. The ventricular systole is starting. So what wave in the JVP are we getting here? What wave in the JVP? Again, we said that whenever the systole or diastole starts, it is isovolumetric phase which comes first. Isovolumetric contraction is the systole starting. So remember this contraction C for C, we will get the, get the C wave in the JVP, right? So this ventricle is contracting, isovolumetric, because this door is closed and this door is also closed. So there is isovolumetric contraction, 
the tricuspid valve is bulging into the right atrium so remember the cusp of the tricuspid valve is what gives the c wave right so if you will uh, see in this uh, image here where did the vigors diagram go right so look at this image so you have the qrs complex then starts the ventricular systole the first part itself you are seeing the c wave right the isovolumetric contraction that is the c wave okay that's the c wave the contraction which is occurring so you will get the c wave all right then you have the x descent basically right then you will have v and then you will have the y so everybody is clear with this so far so we are seeing the integration of jvp also and the ecg also okay uske baad mein when you are seeing that the ventricle is the pressure is going down okay the ventricle the pressure is going down that means the basically aapka yahan pe fir ventricular relaxation bhi start hona shuru ho jayega yahan pe the ventricular relaxation this will be preceded by the t wave that is the ventricular repolarization so t wave aur a ventricle ka pressure fir niche ja raha hai okay that is going down theek hai so that was about this integration basically let me show you the jvp okay let me show you the jvp right first let's have a look at the jvp then we will solve this question on the jvp see so in jvp basically we have the positive waves acv and the descents which are the x and the y descents right now what is a wave due to what is t what is v and x and y there are easy tricks to remember that remember that a wave is due to atrial contraction right so the points to remember a wave a is due to atrial contraction okay C is due to the cusp of the tricuspid valve bulging during the isovolumetric contraction. V is basically the venous return coming to the atrium, right? The atrium relaxing, the venous return coming. That is the venous filling. X and Y descent. Remember, X is relaxation. Okay, that is the relaxation of the atrium. Then will come the venous filling, and Y is the emptying remember y is the emptying of the atrium into the ventricle so a is atrial contraction c is the cusp ka contraction v is the venous filling into the atrium x is the relaxation and y is the emptying okay y is the emptying so if i ask you out of these which are occurring in the diastole that is the ventricular diastole which of these are occurring in the ventricular diastole Think logically and tell me कि कौन सी JVP की waves diastole में आएगी? So you have basically uh, you have here, right? So you have A, C. X, V, and Y. Okay, that is what we have here. C, X, Y uh, occurring in the diastole. C, A is the atrial contraction. C is the isovolumetric contraction of the ventricle. X is the relaxation of the atrium, not of the ventricle. V is the venous filling of the atrium. Y is the emptying of the atrium. Right? Absolutely right. So uh, remember, it is not the X. X नहीं होगा. What is X? X is atrial relaxation. When will the atrium relax? When the ventricle is contracting, एक सिस्टोल में है तो दूसरा डायस्टोल में तो सेकेंड वन इज रिलैक्सिंग राइट अगर एक का आउट गोइंग वाला चालू है तो दूसरा वाला रिलैक्स हो रहा है सो रिमेम्बर इट इज द रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द एट्रियम दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स नॉट द वेंट्रिकल सो इजी ट्रिक टू रिमेम्बर यूर यू नो इफ यू गेट कंफ्यूज वेन आई राइट डायस्टोल राइट इट एज 
diastole okay spell diastole diastole as diastole okay spell it as diastole okay that is diastole so basically remember that y and a the first empty the rapid filling that is the emptying is the y okay and the last filling is the atrial contraction so that is again diastole so the y and a will occur in the diastole basically okay the y and the a which of these waves occurs in the first part of the systole and the last part of the systole systole ka first part or systole ka last part kaun sa wave aayega see rahul and v wave the atria also relaxes so v is the venous filling so after the atrium has relaxed it has made space for the venous blood to come in so basically it's the filling which is happening so it is the atrial diastole only so what wave will occur in the early systole always remember early systole it will start with isovolumetric contraction so that is the c wave okay that is the c wave okay that's the c wave and the late systole absolutely right will be the v wave That is basically the venous return. वो आपका डायग्राम याद रखना स्केमेटिक वाला सब कुछ याद हो जाएगा राइट सो यू हैव द डोर हियर विच इज गिव मी अमेट हाँ सो लेट्स ड्रॉ दिस वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद दिस्टोल सो दिस डोर इज ओपन द ब्लड इज गोइंग आउट सो इसका वॉल्यूम कम हो रहा है लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल का नाउ द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल वॉन्ट्स टू फिल इन सो टू फिल द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल दिस एट्रियम हैज टू गेट फिल right the atrium has to get filled so that is the v wave which is occurring in the last part of the systole so that the atrium first receives the information and then uh, your uh, you know it will go into the ventricle so remember the v wave is during the last part of the systole you can say that it coincides with the systole ka last part and diastole ka early part theek hai so agar aap yahan pe image dekhoge uh, vigors diagram mein ये वाला नहीं लेट्स सी दिस इमेज ओके इरेजिंग दिस ऑल इफ आई कैन लुक एट दिस वन दिस इज द वी वेव दैट यू आर सीइंग हियर दिस इज द सिस्टोल व्हिच इज एंडिंग सो ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ सिस्टोल अर्ली पार्ट ऑफ डायस्टोल इज व्हेन वी आर सीइंग द वी वेव सो बेसिकली इट्स एट द जंक्शन ऑफ सिस्टोल एंड डायस्टोल ओके इट्स एट द जंक्शन ऑफ सिस्टोल एंड डायस्टोल सो लेट मी आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट दिस राइट so always remember this trick that whenever you have lengthy questions like this read the last line first the initial history is generally irrelevant the second half sound corresponds to which of the following points on the pressure tracing on the atrial pressure tracing what do you think will be answer to this <laughs> right so either write the answer whether it's the a wave c wave v wave don't write the options because it's creating confusion so basically the question is ki hamara s2 will correspond to which of the following waves so think now start thinking s2 matlab what is s2 it is the beginning of the diastole right so basically yahan pe jo hai diastole ke beginning mein yani systole ke end mein कौन सा वेव आता है दैट इज वॉट वी सॉ दैट इज द वी वेव राइट सो यू विल हैव समेर द वी वेव हियर राइट सो दैट इज द वी वेव विच विल बी द आंसर आई एम ग्लैड ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट दिस राइट दैट सुपर ऑसम राइट इफ आई आस्क यू नाउ फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ दीज विल अकर इन द अर्ली डायस्टोल विच ऑफ दीज विल अकर इन द अर्ली डायस्टोल absolutely right early diastole first rapid filling is the emptying right this is the emptying happening so this will happen in the early diastole that means the which heart sound ke baad s2 ke baad just s2 ke baad aapka ye y descent aayega 
Y के बाद नेक्स्ट क्या आएगा लेट डायस्टोल में एट्रियल से स्टोल सो दिस विल बी द लेट डायस्टोल सी वेव आइसोवोल्यूमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन दिस विल बी द अर्ली सिस्टोल देन यू विल हैव द एक्स डिसेंट दैट इज द मिड सिस्टोल and v wave that is the late systole is this uh, clear with everyone so basically you have a c x and v and y okay that is the uh, that is your jvp waves okay that's the jvp waves theek okay? hai चलो सो ये हो गया जेवीपी तो बाकी जो हमारा बचा हुआ था एल वी प्रेशर वॉल्यूम लूप को रिलेशन विद दैट एंड द विगर्स डायग्राम एंड को रिलेशन विद मेडिसिन दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी विल डू टुमारो एज आई सेट द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ विगर्स एंड द एल वी प्रेशर वॉल्यूम लूप अलॉन्ग विद द वाल्यूलर लीजन हाउ इट विल चेंज इन माइट्रल स्टेनोसिस एटिक स्टेनोसिस एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट ठीक है let us quickly see this uh, last part the revision of the wigers diagram so what are the pressures which are shown here okay so we don't have the aortic pressure here this is the ventricular pressure shown this is the left atrial pressure shown this is the point where the mitral valve closes so this is the beginning of the systole right so this is the systole this is the diastole diastole mein mitral valve opens fir aata hai diastole सिस्टोल में माइट्रल वाल क्लोजेस फिर आता है सिस्टोल राइट नाउ दिस इज द वॉल्यूम का ग्राफ विच इज गोइंग डाउन विद द सिस्टोल इन द सिस्टोल द वॉल्यूम गोज डाउन लुक एट दिस बेसिकली द पी वेव के बाद राइट पी वेव के बाद यूल गेट द ए वेव पी फॉलोड बाय ए इन द जेवीपी सिस्टोल के बिगिनिंग में यू हैव द सी मिड सिस्टोल में एक्स Late systole, diastole overlap is the V. That is the second heart sound. And then you have early diastole is the Y. The emptying happening. And this is the late diastole where the A is happening. Okay, the A wave is happening. Okay, uh, clear with everyone. So this is basically the correlation that we should remember. So you have P followed by A. Then you have the Q R S. Where the ventricular systole will start after this, you will see the C wave, which is coming into picture, right? Then you will have the T wave, which is coming, and you will have the V wave, T, V aiga, or then Y aiga. Okay? So everybody, give me a quick thumbs up if you are clear with this. Uh, so we'll pause here for today. That was the Vigors diagram. Try solving questions on this. and uh, 8 pm we will meet again with spirometry respiratory physiology the plan for today uh, that is the plan for today for tomorrow it is 5 pm correlation of vigors lv pressure volume loop with the valvular lesions physiology medicine integrated that is basically the graphs from your first aid and uh, 8 pm we will have kbmd for respiratory physiology graphs and calculations right so now tell me that uh, uh whatever questions you have try solving some mcqs on this is what i would say then whatever queries you have please get it tomorrow so that we can discuss it and uh, we'll also have a post test today at 9:30 pm right the link will be shared on the telegram group so aapka respiratory or cardiac physiology ka post test aaj raat ko 9:30 ko hoga so everybody who was scared of this diagram or the cardiac cycle basically i hope this is clear just remember that one door closes the other door opens when this door closes the other door opens both of them cannot remain open together but both of them can remain closed together that is the isovolumetric phase right so thank you so much everyone for joining in i hope uh, you've enjoyed and learned out of this session see you in many more sessions like this till then goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising and keep winning thank you so much